Hi everyone, this is TJ from Avid and welcome to Pro Tools Intro. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make kind of an acoustic lo-fi song like the one that you heard in the introduction using a combination of acoustic instruments, electric instruments, loops that can be found in Pro Tools Intro and a MIDI keyboard. Everything that we're doing in this video is included with Pro Tools Intro and you can make the same exact song that we make, so feel free to follow along. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Pro Tools and get started. So what we have here is a brand new session in Pro Tools Intro. And the only tracks that I have are my click track or metronome and my mix bus, which is routing all of my audio out through my speakers. The first thing we're gonna wanna do in this session is set our tempo. And for that, let me show you a really cool trick that I use all the time. If you double click on this red triangle right here, the tempo change dialog box will open. And if I press T on my keyboard in rhythm, You can see that Pro Tools calculates my BPM for me and I can tap my tempo in. Looks like I'm somewhere around 86 to 87 BPM. Let's call this 90 and press OK. The next thing I'm gonna wanna do is go ahead and load a drum loop into our session. Pro Tools intro comes with some really, really great drum loops and samples that are super inspiring. And we can find these by going up here to Window, going down to New Workspace and clicking on Sound Bass. Soundbase is a really powerful tool because it takes all the loops and samples that are included and organizes them and collates them in a way that's really easy to navigate and find things. Next to all your loops and samples, we have this little play icon. And if you press it, you can hear a preview of your sample when deciding what to put in your session. Make sure to take some time and explore all of these sounds and loops to find some things that inspire you. There's some great stuff in here, but for today, I'm gonna to be using some of my favorites. One more thing I wanna show you in this workspace window is this green button up here with the metronome. What this does is when selected, it takes loops in sound base and quantizes them to your session so that everything you're dragging is the same tempo as the rest of your session. I have a drum loop that I really like right here, and all I have to do to get it into Pro Tools is click, drag, and drop it anywhere in my edit window. I'm gonna take this with my grabber tool, click and drag up to the front of our session, and if I press play, we should hear this drum track lined up with the rest of our session. Perfect. I'm actually gonna pull this down a few dBs so I'm not peaking. And I'm gonna come over here and rename this track, Drums. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to add is a kick drum. Now if we go back to Sound Bass by coming up here to Window, going to Workspaces and clicking on Workspace, I can be right back to my favorites and I can take this kick drum sound right here. And once again, click and drag and drop it right into our edit window. Let's close out of workspace, take this kick drum clip and move it all the way to the front of our song. I'm gonna rename this kick. Let's zoom in a bit by pressing T. Just as a side note, make sure that edit keyboard focus is enabled in Pro Tools. This makes editing and zooming a lot faster. Now let me show you another cool trick here. If I hold option and click and drag this clip, it creates a copy of it rather than moving the one that's already there. Now here we're gonna encounter a problem because I wanna put my kick somewhere in between but it's locking me to either sides of this grid. I can change my grid value by selecting which note I wanna work with. Let's try eighth note. Now I can have finer increments to move my kick and let's try putting it right here. Let's hear how that sounds. Perfect. I love that. So what I'm gonna do is actually click and select this whole section by clicking and dragging with my selector tool and pressing Command D or Control D if you're on a Windows machine to duplicate that kick part so it stretches for our entire drum loop. And the last thing I'm gonna do for our drums is actually select both tracks all the way through and press Command D one more time because this is how long I'm gonna have my keyboard part so I need my drums to match. Let's create a new track by going up here to track, clicking on new, and creating a stereo instrument track 
for our keyboard. Before we do anything else, let's name this track Keys and let's record enable it so anything we play on our keyboard we can hear coming back to us through our speakers. Now we're gonna come over here to our inserts and inserts are where we can put things like virtual instruments. The one we're gonna to use today is called Expand. If you're unfamiliar with Expand, it's a really incredible plugin that has pretty much any sound you could want right here at your fingertips. So as always, I encourage you to go through the presets and find things that inspire you, but I have a patch that I really like saved right here. This is kind of a polyphonic sine wave sound. And when I play my keyboard, we should be able to hear it back through the speakers. Perfect. Let's close out of Expand and track our keyboard part. Our keys track is record enabled, and the last thing we have to do is press this record button at the very top of our edit window. Press enter to make sure that we're at the beginning of our track. And when I press spacebar, Pro Tools is gonna count us in for one bar since I have my count offset, and we're gonna start recording. Here we go. Press spacebar again to stop recording, and there we have our keyboard track. The next track that we're gonna add is our bass, and this time we're gonna record an external instrument. I'm gonna be playing an actual bass guitar plugged into my interface. First thing we're gonna do is come up here to track and create another new one. This time we're gonna have a mono audio track. I click create, let's name this bass. And the next thing we want to do is make sure that the input on this track matches the input that our instrument or microphone is plugged into on our interface. My bass is plugged into channel two, so I'm going to go ahead and select input two. Before I record enable this track or do anything else, I'm going to check my input gain to make sure I have it right where I want it on my interface. Now that my bass is plugged in and my gain is adjusted right where I want it, I'm gonna record enable my bass track, turn off record enable on my keys track, and I should be able to hear my bass coming back through my speakers. Great. Now, there's a really cool plugin that's included with Pro Tools intro called Sansamp PSA1. And if we go over here to our inserts, go to harmonic, we can find it right here. I really love this plugin on bass in particular. There's a setting that I used on this song that I really enjoyed and that was under bass called only bass. This gives me a super round, low, kind of laid back bass sound that works really well with this vibe that we're going for. So let me close out of Sansamp and we are ready to record our bass. Our bass track is record enabled. So I press record at the top of our edit window, press space bar again, Pro Tools will count us in and I'll start playing. Here we go. Press spacebar again to stop, and now we have a bass track. I'm gonna go ahead and select the extra that I don't want here with my selector tool. Press B to cut it and then select it and delete it since we don't need it because we want this to stick to the loop nice and clean. The last thing that I'm gonna add is an acoustic guitar to really tie this all together. First thing I'm gonna do, once again, I'm gonna come up here to track, click on new and create another mono audio track. I'm gonna call this acoustic guitar. Press okay. And for this track, since I'm gonna be recording my acoustic through a microphone, I wanna make sure that I'm using headphones because we don't want any feedback coming at us through our monitors. As always, before we do anything else, let's set the input gain on our interface to make sure our mic is picking up the acoustic at a really good solid level. Sounds good to me. Now that I have the gain set on my interface, my headphones plugged in and my acoustic guitar set up to be recorded, let's turn off record enable on our bass. I'm gonna turn on record enable on my acoustic guitar track, press record at the top of our edit window, 
press space bar and start playing. Let's do it. Perfect. I turned off record enable on my acoustic guitar track. Let's go back to the top here. And just like last time, I'm going to clip the end of this by pressing B and deleting. And now I'm going to use some EQ to kind of add some magic to this raw acoustic guitar. If we press solo right here, we're going to hear only our acoustic guitar and nothing else. I'm going to click the clip to make sure that Pro Tools plays it back for me in a loop so I can adjust what I'm doing in real time. And lastly, I'm going to turn off my metronome so I'm hearing only my acoustic. Come over here to inserts one more time. Let's go to plugin and this time go to EQ and we're going to use EQ3 7 band. 7 band EQ is a very powerful tool and it can look a bit overwhelming the first time that you see it, but you can always use presets if you're not sure where to go first. Let's go up here to acoustic guitar presets and find something that describes what we're looking for. I definitely want to add some sparkle to this, so let's try that and let's press play. It's subtle, but when I bypass it, you can kind of hear what it's doing in real time. The other thing I'm going to do is turn on a low cut at a really steep curve to kind of get rid of any booms or rumbles that the mic might have. Let's put this right around 80 hertz. Let's hear that. Perfect. Now you can spend hours EQing every instrument, but let's stop right there and hear what we have our whole track all together from the top. And there you have it. In just over 10 minutes, we've created a track in Pro Tools intro. For more Pro Tools content and tutorials, make sure that you check out the Getting Started page on the Pro Tools section of avid.com. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Can't wait to see you on the next one.